Okay, so we're going to be looking at significant digits, and we're going to look at how many we should have in our final answer. So the number of significant digits in a final calculation or final answer really depends on the number of significant digits in the data. So when we have a question, we look at the numbers given, and then from there we can determine how many we should have for our final answer. Now what is significant? Non-zero digits, 1 to 9, always significant. Zero sometimes are and sometimes aren't. So we'll look at a few examples over here. So, 453, these are all non-zero digits, which means there are three sig digs. The next number, 4,500. Now, when there is not a decimal place, we're going to start on the right-hand side, which is right here, and we're going to start moving towards the left until we hit the first non-zero digit. So that's a zero doesn't count, that's a zero that doesn't count. From here and over to the left, those would be all significant. So in this case, there are only two sig digs. Let's look at this number down here, 23 million. So again, we don't have a decimal place present, so we're going to start over on this side, which is the right-hand side of the number, and we're going to keep moving towards the left until we hit the first non-zero digit. So I'm just going to cross them off. None of these zeros count. They're essentially just a placeholder. I hit my first non-zero digit, that and everything after it towards the left would be significant. So this would also have two sig digs. Okay, we look at a number like this. So we've got 4,500, but we do have a decimal place present. So instead of starting on the right-hand side of the number, we start on the left. And we're going to go from the first non-zero digit, which happens to be the 4. So this is a non-zero digit. That number and everything towards the right are significant. So that means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is in fact 6 significant digits. Okay, this is a number that seems to give people some problems. Okay, so we've got a decimal place. We're going to start here on the left hand side and we're going to move towards the right until we hit the first non zero digit. So these aren't going to count. These are essentially just a placeholder. Here's my first non-zero digit. That and everything after it towards the right is significant. So in this case we have one, two, three. So this would be three sig digs. Okay, so we figured out how to count significant digits and let's apply it to working on some kind of a question. So here I've got, it's a sheet of paper and I've measured the length and the width, so uh, or the height and the width, whatever you want to call it. This is 27.9 centimeters, and this is 21.6 centimeters, and I want to do a couple calculations, one of which is perimeter, and the other one is area. So for the perimeter calculations, perimeter is um, length plus width, and then you can just double it. So we'll put it in here, got 27.9 centimeters, 21.6, and I'm going to double it. So our calculation ends up giving us, on the calculator it says 99. Now the rule for adding and subtracting with significant digits, you go to the least number of decimal places. So this has a decimal place, this also has a decimal place or a single decimal place, which means our final answer goes to a decimal place. So 99.0, and the units would be centimeters. So there is our perimeter to the correct number of significant digits. To calculate area, area is length times width. So this is a multiplication now. The one above it was just an addition. So length times width. 27.9 centimeters times 21.6 centimeters. So when I do that multiplication, I get 602.64, and the units would be centimeters squared. Now we look. How many significant digits do we have in this number? Three. In this number, 3. 
So when we're doing a multiplying and dividing calculation, our final answer can only go to the least number of sig digs that I started with. I have three, and I have three, which means my final answer can only go to three significant digits. So I can't have the one, two, three, four, five that are sitting there. I'll have to round. So the area would be 600 and, well, here's a two, but if I look to the number right beside it, it's a six. So I'll have to round up. So that'd be 603 centimeters squared. And there's our answer to correct number of significant digits. Now we can also look at, uh, this is like something we're going to see in physics. We want to do a calculation of speed. The equation for speed is simply distance over time. So we will... have our distance which is 149.0 kilometers divided by a time of 3.2 hours so when we punch that in we end up getting 46.5625 and the units are kilometers in the top hours in the bottom so that would be kilometers per hour. Now, I need to go back and look at what was the data that was given. This is two significant digits. This one, because there's a decimal present, the zero count, so this actually has one, two, three, four. So I've got four sig digs right here. I've got two sig digs right here. When you're multiplying and dividing, you can only have the least number that you started with, which would be two. So my final answer can only go to two significant digits. So 46.56 would end up being 47 kilometers per hour. And there is our final answer to correct significant digits.